Mustangs, I'm Parker Mason. And I'm Lexi Hemingway. Here with your broadcast for the week of March 22nd, 2021. Let's head over to Gavin for your school news. Hey there, Mustangs. Here is your school news for this week. Students are invited to a virtual Q&A with PC's administrative team on Tuesday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. If students have questions about next school year or next quarter, they can ask them at this event. Parents are welcome to join as well. The links for these virtual meetings were sent out and they are on the Mustang Minutes with additional information regarding prom, graduation, and more. Lastly, following spring break, there are, will be a few hundred more students coming into the building for the fourth marking period. Because of this, it is important for students to review our daily routines for face-to-face -face instruction. You can find the video for that on the Port of Central High School YouTube channel or on pcglick.com. That's all we got for this week, Mustangs. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Gavin. Confession, I was an ugly baby. I wasn't. Who was? Off to you, Riley. Hey guys, like Parker and Lexi said, we've all had some pretty interesting photos from when we were younger. For example, or, or even, anyways, over the past week, I found a group of people that are going to try and recreate their baby pictures from when they were younger. On to the time ups. <laughs> Now that we have all the pictures, let's compare them to the OGs. I'd say they're all pretty good. Now back to you, Lexi and Parker. Thank you, Riley. Now on to Andrew for your athletics. Thanks, guys. Now let's get rootin' and tootin' for our Mustang athletes this week. Toot toot! Looks like our basketball teams have a lot on their plates. Here's Brenica with the highlights. Thanks, Andrew. Today we're going to be talking about some athletics. Today starts the first day of spring sports, so there's a few fun things going on. First up today, there's a girls varsity basketball game against Portage Northern at 5 p.m. at Kalamazoo Central High School. And tomorrow we also have a boys varsity basketball game at 7 p.m. against Madawan High School at St. Joseph High School. And finally, there's a boys varsity baseball scrimmage at 4 p.m. on Wednesday in the PC baseball field. That's all for this week, Mustangs. Have a good break, and back to you, Andrew. Don't forget to check out PCMustangSports.com for the updates on all our teams. Now, let's flip back over to Parker and Lexi to continue your regularly scheduled program. Thanks, guys. Lexi, I need a fun and exciting activity to get me in the mood for this warmer weather. Hey, Mustangs, I'm Paige Vellum, and today we're going to be talking about Pickleball Club. Pickleball Club is actually a new club this year. Practices take place every Wednesday at Ramona Park, and seniors Yannick and Franz started the club this year. The majority of the club members have played tennis in the past, but there are still a couple of people that are doing it just to learn the basics of the game. Let's see what some of the players have to say about the club. Tell us why you started this club. You know, prior to this club, I was eating, sleeping, dreaming about pickleball. So this one day when I was playing with Franz Nade in the club, you know, we just thought, why doesn't PC have a pickleball club? So we just got and did it. What is your favorite part about this club? Uh, my favorite part about this club is that we're, uh, we're able to unite between different types of people. And I think that being able to play with other people and recognize their different ways of getting the ball across and making plays, it's, it's pretty cool, so. That's all we've got for this week. Back to you guys. Thank you, Paige. Now heading over to Emma for your pop culture update. Hey there, Mustangs, it's Emma Goodman. It's crazy to think just a year ago, COVID-19 was all new to us. And here we are a year later getting vaccinated. Some of our teachers and classmates have been fortunate enough to get vaccinated, so I reached out to a couple of them to get the inside scoop about their experience. The process was super easy, super organized. I had to wait in line. Um, I had to check in and make sure that I was good to go on getting the vaccine. Then I went to my next station, which was getting the shot. Um, I did have a few side effects. With my first shot, it wasn't bad at all. I just got muscle aches towards the end of the night, but then they went away by the time I woke up and my arm was super, super sore. Like it hurt to even lift it. After the first one, I had a couple of like, just a little headache right after. And then I, I had a little bit of a sore arm, not as bad though. My second shot, I was really worried for and it was tough. It was 
brutal, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did have muscle aches throughout the whole night, kept me up, I couldn't sleep. I had a super sore arm and I was tired, but that was it, like I didn't have any like other major symptoms. But yeah, those were my side effects and they went away with the second shot after 12 hours, so it wasn't even that bad. And the medicine helped. <laughs> Visit the Kalamazoo Health Department website with any questions or to see if you qualify to get your vaccine. Well, that's all I got for this week, but let's help our classmates, parents, and grandparents by getting vaccinated when given the opportunity. I'll see you next week, Mustangs. Thank you, Emma. Well, that's all for this week. Be sure to get out there and deploy your Mustangs safely. I'm Lexi Hemingway. And I'm Parker Mason, signing off. Have a good week and make sure to stay safe, Mustangs. Thank you.